And since we just talked about the uh, graphic card, then maybe it's time to talk about the display itself. Now, this is where a gaming computer is going to be significantly different than, than probably anything else. Uh, I'm going to start, uh, let's make go full screen, and I'm going to start with showing you this. Uh, this is the $3,800 Dell laptop. And when I get to the display, here's what they say. It's a 15.6 inch OLED, which is organic LED, uh, that has a much better quality, image quality, and by the way, even lower power consumption. It is a UHD or ultra high definition, what we typically call in TVs 4K. And how do you know? It's pretty close to 4000 pixels by 2160. This is four times the size of a high definition, a regular 1080p screen. It's a 60 hertz uh, refresh rate. So you get it, uh, the screen changes uh, 60 times per second. Uh, it can actually go 120 at different screens, not this one. One millisecond response time. So it's very, very fast. 400 NITs, those are the uh, luminance uh, components. And, and you see all kinds of things that you have. Uh, oddly enough, it has a technology for eye tracking, so it can actually tell where you are. I'm going to click on the more info uh, where they ask you to, or you ask them to uh, help you choose a display. High definition, this is kind of the smaller size displays, 1280 by 720. Often you're going to see 1280 by 768. Uh, that's still high definition, but that's not really what we today think of high definition. What we today think of high definition is full HD or 1920 by 1080. So it's a little confusing. And what they're comparing here is not really the size as it is if the pixels were the same size, what how big would the screen be but typically the the size of the screen is the size of the screen and if you have higher definition what you have is smaller pixels and this is important so ultra uh, so high definition 1280 by 720 or you're going to see 768 full hd 1920 by 1080 and ultra high definition what we call 4k having um, 3840 by 2160. Uh, there is, uh, if you go to the website, there is a lot of good definition of all of the different components here, but just kind of at the high level, the number of pixels, uh, maybe if you want to take a look at what OLED is, you're going to have, uh, it's an organic LED, as I mentioned before, you're going to have a better, uh, a better explanation of uh, what is it. Now, I want to do something here. I want to go back to laptops. And how about if we just go with, uh, you know, kind of run of the mill, low end laptops, and what, what can you get for $330? And, and you know what, maybe, maybe that's what we want to look at. What, what can you get for $380? Uh, the processor is not an Intel. I already told you Intel would be more expensive. So actually the first generation of Intel, let's just click on this one and go in, in greater detail. It is a 10th generation because we are in the 10th generation. It's an i3. So this is the lowest end Intel processor. You have only four megabyte of cache compared to 12 or 16 at the higher processors running at slower speed. Uh, you don't have a graphic card. You have Intel uh, UHD graphics embedded in it. You only have four gigabyte as one card at 2666 megahertz. The hard disk drive is only 128. But if we go down and let's see what display we have here, the display is actually 1366 by 768. So it's not 1280. It's 1366 by 768. It's still HD. It is a 15.6 inch high definition. So here's what you saw. You saw several computers. One of them, uh, and both, both of them had 15.6 inch displays, but one of them, the gaming computer, had a high-end display with 4K, uh, ultra high definition. And this one that I'm showing you here uh, only has 1366 by 768. Now, here's an interesting point for you. If you don't have applications that really use a lot of the screen and, and have a lot of information in your eyes, you know, not everybody here is in their 20s or 30s. Uh, you know, we're wearing glasses. Uh, sorry for the reflection. We're wearing glasses and we don't see that well. You may have a 15.6 inch screen, but it just 
and it's high definition or ultra high definition, you're not going to be able to see the things because they're, they're so small. So the last two computers that I bought for actually for my daughters, and they are 19 and 21, uh, I got them computers with 1366 by 768 because for their applications, for what they need, this is a high enough resolution. And something else to keep in mind, the lower the resolution of the screen, the faster it is for the computer to process the image. There are just fewer pixels to control, to, to maintain or, or to change uh, with, with every changing uh, image. So this is something that, uh, that you need to consider. Uh, I know it's kind of, uh, oh, I, it, it, it's very tempting if you can get an ultra high definition uh, screen, 15.6, that is so much better than a 1366 by 768. Who even has 1366 by 768? Heck, for the life of me, I can get this for under $400 uh, worth of a computer. But ask yourself, do I benefit from it? I'm pretty sure that you're not going to find a thousand or twelve hundred dollar computer with this kind of screen. You're, they're probably going to come with HD, with full HD, so 1920 by 1080. But it's just something to uh, keep in mind. So uh, several things to think about when you think about the display, think about the resolution, think about the size. You know, uh, I told you at the beginning, uh, I have, I still have a laptop with 12, with 11.6 inch display, very portable, very light, uh, very easy to travel with, very hard to see what's on it. Uh, then there is uh, kind of the 13.3 uh, inch or 13 inch are, are the kind of the typical smaller laptops, uh, not so many, much the 11.6 anymore. 15 inch to 15.6 are kind of the run of the mill laptops. This is what you're going to find. This is where you're going to find the sweet spot. Remember that I talked about the sweet spot uh, in terms of component size, weight and, and everything else and, and performance. And then the bigger ones, typically for gaming or video editing on the fly, on the go, are 17 to 17.3 inch displays with higher resolution. For me, it's just that I don't do the editing, even though I do them uh, at my editing on that laptop, but I don't do it uh, with the laptop screen, which in my case is a 15.6 inch uh, high, full high definition 1080p. What I do is I have a different screen, a bigger screen in front of me. I have a 27 inch screen, full high definition. Um, I'm not even sure that a 4K, that, that I could handle 4K on a 27 inch screen. This is what I use for editing. So keep that in mind. Uh, we talked about the resolution, the size, the lighting. Uh, just typically what I look is I look for complaints. If people complained that the uh, screen is not lit enough, if what you do is you're a speaker and all you need is for it to be kind of your monitor connected to a projector, typically you're going to have uh, enough uh, there. And finally, there are touch screens. So I think that my, my wife's laptop, it's a $500 laptop that we got from Costco, uh, has a touch screen. Uh, it's good and bad. Typically, the touch screen, because there is one more layer on, on top of the screen itself, uh, it may affect the price slightly. It may affect the lighting that has to come through yet another layer as transparent as it might be. And ask yourself, is this something that I need? Now, I, I'm, I I'm, would not buy a laptop because it has touch screen, unless I really use it as a two-in-one, you know, laptops that you can fold around and have uh, have use it as as a uh, tablet but I use my iPad as a tablet so I, I typically don't go for a laptop that has touch screen if it has touch screen okay I, I don't see typically the benefit of it so this is what you need to keep in mind in terms of the display next we'll talk about uh, interfaces uh, input and output